guys sa mga nag-request sa akin to uh, take video on radicals. Ito uh, dito. X A raised to A over B. Uh, this one is what's called rational exponents. When it's a rational, that's fraction. Okay? May dinamator numerator yung uh, exponent ng isang variable. Okay? So, to change that into radical, we will have this one will become the index. Okay? So, yung B, yung denominator, magiging index. Tapos yung A, yung numerator, magiging exponent ng radicand. Okay? So, ito yung index, radical sign, radicand, and exponent. Okay? So, ganun siya. So, to change this one, like for example, this one, 3 raised to 3 over 5, we will have... Uh, fifth root, okay? Kasi yung 5 natin magiging B siya, A siya, so magiging 3 raised to 3, okay? Ganun siya. And then, uh, how about 4 raised to 2 thirds? So we have cube root of 4 raised to 2, okay? Ganun siya. Ito, 10 raised to 3 over 7, so we have seventh root of 10 raised to 3, okay? So, ganun. And then, this one will become uh, 11th root of 120 raised to 6. Okay, so let's try to rationalize, I mean, simplify this uh, given uh, square roots. Okay, so square root muna tayo, so mamaya sa cube root naman tayo, and then sa fourth root tayo. Okay, so there you go. Like square root of 16, of course, this one you always have to express. Uh, a square root of 16 is a perfect square number. When we say perfect square number, yung two uh, factors niya are all... Uh, Perfect. I mean, like this one. Uh, you can take the root of of it of, of a number. Okay, so like sixteen is equal to four times four, right? Uh, okay. So square root of sixteen, of course, is uh, sixteen is equal to uh, four squared. Because I explained before why this one is uh, two, right? Because we don't write two. But three, four, five, six, we write that one, and then we we'll just have to cancel this one. So that becomes four. That's why square root of sixteen is equal to four. Now. Ano naman pag square root of 12? Square root of 12 is not a perfect uh, perfect square number. So, we have to think of factors of 12 na yung isa dun is a perfect square number. Highest perfect square number. So, factors of 12 are 6 and 1, 4 and 3, and then 12 and 1. Right? So, uh, checking this one, there is only one with perfect square number here, and that is 4. Right? Uh, because 4 is 2 times 2. Right? Pareho. Yung factors ito is 2 times 3 and this one is 4 times 3. So, it's not. Right? So, this one is a perfect square number. So, ito dapat yung uh, factors natin dyan. Okay. So, 4 and 3. We have to get 4 and 3. So, we have here uh, square root of 4 times 3. Okay? And so, we're just going to separate them. Okay? You can separate that because this is multiplication anyway. But plus and minus, you cannot... Uh, separate them and then square root, that becomes square root of 4 and then square root of 3 now you can we can get the the, the the value of square root of 4 and that square root of 4 is 2 okay and then just write 3 so that's the answer there okay there you go next one uh, we have here square root of 72 what is the perfect uh, square number that uh, 72 uh, I mean a perfect square number which is also a factor of 72 okay so, this one is uh, 36 times 2, right? 36 times 2. So, we have square root of 36 and then times square root of 2. And then square root of 36 is 6 and then just write square root of 2. That's it, okay? And so, we have here square root of 98. That is uh, square root of 49 times 2, right? And then square root of 49 is 7, okay? Uh, this, this becomes square root of 49 and then square root of 2. And so this one is uh, square root of 49 is 7 and then just write square root of 2. And then this one, square root of 27, that is uh, factors of 27 that can be with perfect square number 9 and then 3. Okay, 9 times 3 is 27. This is equal to square root of, square root of 9 times, uh, or square root of 3. Okay, and then square root of 9 is 3. And then just write that square root of 3 there, okay? That's how we uh, simplify uh, radicals. Okay, so, meron tayo dito, cube roots. Cube root, cube, cube root of 27 is, uh, when it's a cube root, you're just going to express this one in factors uh, ng given number na pareho yung lahat ng factors, okay? So, 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3, right? Oh, this is cube root. Okay, so that's cube root of 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, that is 27, Okay? And so this one is equal to cube root of 3 cubed because you can just express this uh, multipl uh, multiplication of 3 uh, factors of 3 
Okay, so we can just have like 3 raised to 3 because 1, 2, 3, that's why we raise it to 3. Okay, so cancel nyo si 3 at saka si 3, the remaining would be just 3. Okay, cube root of 27 is equal to 3. Now, how about si 16? Okay, so this is uh, cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? Because 16 is equal to, we can have like cube root of 4 times 4, but there is no, like shall I say, uh, cube root of 4 times 4. 4, dalawa lang yung 4. So we cannot uh, uh, extract the cube root, cube root here, okay? So instead, we'll express this 4 into 2 times 2 and then another 4 into 2 times 2 ulit, okay? So there we go. Um, so this one, we're just going to express this one with 1 cube root, okay? So this one here, cube root of 2 times 2, tatlo dapat, okay? 2, and then, another one, sulat nyo ulit, cube root of 2. Kasi, i-separate natin ito siyang tatlo kasi we're dealing with cube roots, okay? Kanina, uh, separate natin dalawa kasi we're dealing of square roots or uh, root of 2, okay? So, this one, we can say that uh, this is equal to cube root of 2 cube because there are 3 2's here and then cube root of 2. Now, this one, you can just cancel that. So, we have the remaining here is just 2. Remove the radical sign and retain this one, cube root of 2. So, ito yung sagot niya. Okay? So, ganun. Next one. Uh, 81. So, we have here cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay? 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. Times 3 is 81. And so, this one is equal to cube root of uh, 3 cube, okay, kunin natin yung tatlo, 3 cube yan, and then ulit sa kabila, we have the remaining 3, okay, cube root ulit, La, pariho silang cube root, kasi uh, nasa loob siya ng cube root, okay, so cube root of this one, cancel that, so the answer is, uh, cube root of 3 raised to 3 is 3, and then retain this one, cube root of 3 raised to uh, 3, uh, cube root of 3, there you go, next one, 250, okay, so this one is cube root of, uh, 1, ah, uh, no, no, no. We can say that 5 times 5 times 5 times 2. Okay? There you go. Now, may tatlong 5 dyan, so we can extract the cube root there. So we have cube root of 5, 3. Because 5, 5, 5 is 5, 3. And then, lagay nyo ulit cube root of 2. Yung re remaining dyan. Okay? So the answer there is, cancel that. So we say 5 cube root of 2. Okay? So We're, we'll be dealing with addition and subtraction of, uh, what is this? Addition and subtraction of radicals. Okay? So, dito muna tayo sa baba para mas, uh, may space tayo mag-explain. Okay, so, adding and subtracting radicals, adding and subtracting radicals, you'll, you'll, you must always consider or check the radicand. When sa radicand, those numbers inside the radical sign. Okay? Pag pariho yung radicand, if the radicands are the same, you can proceed with addition or subtraction. But if the radicands are not the same, you cannot proceed to addition and subtraction, okay? So, uh, checking here in the first number, we have here 6 squared of 7 minus 17 squared of 5 plus 2 squared of 7. So, dalawa lang yung radicands dito na magkapariho. This one and this one, right? So, add lang natin. 6 plus 2 kasi puro sila positive. So, 6 plus 2, that is 8, okay? And then, kopyahin nyo lang si root uh, square root of 7, Okay? And then, since ito, wala siyang kapariha dyan, so just retain it. That's 17 square root of 5. That's it. Okay? So, this is uh, the simplified form of that. Okay? So, we cannot add, you cannot, we cannot proceed uh, subtracting 8 square root of 7 minus 17 square root of 5 kasi yung radicans sila magkaiba. Okay? okay? Radicans natin, 2 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 5 minus 10 square root of 3. So, ito sila magkapariho. And ito naman sila magkapariho. So, we'll be dealing with that. So, 2 plus 4, add yung lang yung sa labas. 2 plus 4, you cannot add the, the, the radicands or those inside, okay? 2 plus 4, uh, four uh, 2 plus 4, that is 6. And then, kopyahan nyo lang yung 5. Kopyahan nyo lang yan, square root of 5. And then, square root of 3 and square root of 3. So, 3 minus 7. 3 minus 7, that is minus, uh, 3 minus 10, I'm sorry. 3 minus 10 is equal to 7. And then, kopyahan nyo lang square root of 3. That's it, okay? You cannot proceed... Uh, subtracting this one because they have different radicands. Okay, next one. We have uh, 3 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2 minus 7 square root of 2. So, lahat sila pareho ng radicand, square root of 2. So, add lang natin 3 plus 4, that is 7, minus 7, that is 0. Okay, so this one is 0. Okay, so we have here uh, 
multiplying radicals. As you can see here, okay, so whole number siya. Sa multiplication ng radicals, whole number to whole number, and then uh, radicand to radicand. And take note if it's, uh, what's that? If it is square root or cube root. Pag square root and cube root, you cannot multiply them directly, okay? You have to resort to uh, changing the exponents into rational, uh, what's this? Rational exponents and then uh, change their denominators uh, into, or I mean, LCD, okay? So I'll be explaining that one later. Okay, so as you can see here, as I've said, uh, whole number to whole number, radicand to radicand, okay? So here, 3 times uh, 4 square root of 6, multiply nyo lang si 3 at saka 4, so we have 12, and then kopyahin nyo si square root of 6, that's it, okay? Kasi whole number, whole number. Pag may radical to, may radical, so radical si radical din naman, okay? So 12 times square root of 5, that is 12 square root of 5, okay? So 6 times 6 minus square root of 2, multiply nyo siya isa-isa, distribute nyo. So 6 times 6, that is 36. And then 6 times, this is understood one here. We don't write one in algebra. So 6 times negative square root of, so, uh, square root of 2, so we say 6 square root of 2, okay? This one, 2 times 2, square root of 5, multiply nyo lang si whole number, so sub, uh, distribute ulit. 2 times 2 square root of 5, so we have 4, because 2 times 2 is 4, and then kopihan nyo si square root of 5. And then 2 times 3, that is, uh, that is plus 6, okay? And then kopihan nyo lang si square root of 3. Now, how about eto, 2 square root of 3 times 2 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 7. Multiply nyo lang ulit, okay? Same rule. Whole number, whole number, okay? So, 2 times 2, that is 4. And then, kasi may radicands tayo, so radicals, so we say square root of 3 times square root of 2, we say square root of 6, okay? And then 2 times 5 whole number, that is 10, kasi positive. And then square root of 3 times square root of 7, so we say square root of 21, Okay? So, we cannot uh, add them anymore because they have different radicands. Okay? Oh. Division of radicals. Uh, as you can see here, 3 over square root of 2. Okay, so we call it a rationalizing the denominator or removing the radical signs in the denominator. Okay? So, 3 over square root of 2. We can just say uh, square root of 2 here. Copy nyo. Tapos, multiply natin. Kung ano yung dito, i-multiply natin yan. Kasi square root naman siya. So, we need... This one is 2, and then this one is has the exponent of 1. So we need to make it 2. How? We're just going to multiply it with 2, and then square root of 2. Square root of 2 over square root of 2 is just 1. Anyway, okay? Our aim here is to make this one a whole number. Okay? So this one, 3 times square root of 2. So we have 3 square root of 2. And then, square root of 2, square root of 2 is square root of 4. And then, this one, copy, 3 square root of 2 over square root of 4 is 2. We cannot cancel 3 and 2 because... Uh, uh, ano na siya? Prime. Okay, so there we go. How about this one? Pag may ano tayo dito, so as you can see here, mayroon tayo dito 4 over 1 plus square root of 3. So pag ganitong case na, we have to get the conjugate, okay? When I say conjugate, the opposite sign of this radical, okay? So there we go. Kopyahin natin, 1 over 1 plus square root of 3. Okay, so anong conjugate ng 1 plus square root of 3? Opposite niyan is 1 minus square root of 3, okay? And then 1 minus square root of 3. Okay, so ganun lang siya. Opposite signs. And then, uh, multiply natin siya sa lahat. Okay? So, distribute natin 4 times 1, that becomes 4. And then, 4 times negative square root of 3, that is 4 square root of 3. Over. Okay? Over. Now, this one, kasi opposite sign sila. Okay? Multiply lang natin itong first, saka first. So, we say 1. And then, square root of 3 and square root of 3, that is uh, square root of 9 or just 3. Right? And so, we have here uh, 4 minus... Uh, retain pa lang, lang lang muna natin kasi pwede tayo mag-cancel pa lang. I'm sorry. So, we can just factor this one out. 4. So, 4 and then 1 minus square root of 3. Retain pala natin si 4. Parang ganito lang. Retain lang natin. Multiply, multiply lang natin siya. Retain lang natin. Okay? 4 times 1 minus square root of 3. Kasi pwede tayo mag-cancel. 1 minus negative 3, that is negative 2. Cancel natin si 2 at uh, negative 2 and then 4. So, neg uh, 4 divided by negative 2, we say negative 2 and then... 1 minus square root of 3, okay? So, uh, ano natin yan? I mean, distribute. So, negative 2 times 1, so we say negative 2, and then negative 2 times negative square root of 3, that is positive square root of uh, 2, square root of 3, okay? So, ganun yung sagot dyan. Next one, 6 plus, uh, 6 over 2 minus Cube root of square root of 2. Okay, so this one is 3, but this one is just 1. So we are we need uh, 2 more of 2 here, okay? 
So, yun yung conjugate. And conjugate niya, okay? So, we say 6 over 2 minus uh, 3 squared of, uh, cube root of 2, I'm sorry. Cube root of 2. And then times, okay? Conjugate nito, so we say 2 and then plus, okay? And then cube root of 2 squared, okay? Bakit siya 2 squared? Kasi we need to make it 3. This is 1 plus, one, plus 2, that is 3. So we can cancel this one, okay? And we say 2 plus uh, 3 squared of 2 squared, okay? So multiplying that, okay? So this one, multiply natin. So retain na natin 6 and then 2 and then cube plus cube root of 2 squared. And then over. 2 times 2, kasi opposite sign sila, yung first, first lang, so 4, okay? And then, cube root of 2 times cube root of 2 squared, so we say, minus, kasi negative times positive is minus, then cube root, kopya nyo lang, and then 2 raised to 1 times 2 raised to 2, that is 2 raised to 3. Cancel that, so it becomes 2, right? So we say 6 times 2 plus 3 squared of 2 squared, retain natin yan siya, and then over, 4 minus 2, kasi magiging 2 na to siya, kasi kinansan na natin yung uh, cube root at saka yung exponent. So, 4 minus 2, that is 2. Cancel natin. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, yung sagot natin is 3 times uh, 2 plus cube root of cube root of uh, 2 squared. Okay? 